What does it mean to live together? On this land? In, in this, this place? place? Burnt Thicket Theatre presents We, we Treaty, Treaty People. People. Audio dramas exploring what it means to embrace all our relations. This week's episode was written by me, Amanda Trapp. Performed by Andrea Folster and Ed Mendez. Directed by Joanna Arnott. With dramaturgy by Donna Michelle St. Bernard. Theme music by Daryl Doslon. With Jordan Daniels, Marco Kichita, and Donnie Spidell. Recording, editing, and sound design by me, Tim Bratton. And now, recorded on Treaty 6 territory, we bring you You Said We'd Be Together Forever. Surprise! Oh my Happy God, anniversary, you scared the my love. shit out of me. Oh, sorry. No, it's all right. <laughs> it's I was out just so I could surprise out. you. Oh, thank you, my dear. I hope you're not getting tired of this tradition. No, no, never. It's sweet. Starbucks lattes are my guilty pleasure. The Starbucks for my sweet. More like five bucks, am I right? Every year a treat and a terrible joke. <laughs> sorry, I can't resist. Oh, it's a funny joke. <sighs> it's not. No, it's not. But I love you for thinking it is. <laughs> and I love you for humoring my terrible sense of humor. <laughs> How does it taste? Like five bucks. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to show you what I have planned for us tonight. An early dinner, and then we'll head over to the powwow. It's going to be a big one. This is a very special anniversary, after all. I pulled out all the stops, spared no expense. Promise me you won't try to dance? Hey, how can I not when they always open up the floor to everyone? Besides, my fancy dance skills are improving. Gotta show them off. <laughs> I think the days of having the stamina and strength for fancy are long gone, my dear. If you absolutely have to dance, why not show off your finger dancing? <laughs> now that is a dance you're a pro at. <laughs> I will admit I can point those fingers to the beat like nobody's business. But you have to admit that you just like seeing me go peak white men at these things. It's very endearing. It's cute, honestly. <laughs> Fine. I will retain my fancy dance for another time. Although your people are very welcoming, I'm sure they'd love to see it. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, photos. Us. From the early days. Hmm, let me look. Oh, wait a second. Is this my gift? A scrapbook or something? Or something, yes. A bingo. What? Bingo? Are we also going to bingo tonight? <laughs> no. It's just a turn of phrase, you colonizer. But, but you do like bingo. I'm, I'm not totally out of line here. Yes, I do. But I get to make bingo comments. Not you there, mister. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I was just making a joke. One of my trademark unfunny ones. Is it all right if I see the pictures then? Uh-huh. Wow, you weren't kidding about the early days. I forgot about these. I didn't. Why did I ever think a perm was a good look? <laughs> Come on, it's better than my slick back wet look in this one. Brill cream. <laughs> Whoever thought that was a good idea? I look like I washed my hair with molasses. But that perm of yours? It's very 80s, but still beautiful. Like a radiant raven black halo around your head. Well, maybe before the greys started popping up. 
Oh lord, look at that suit I'm wearing. Is this from the day we met the queen? I don't know why they made suits like that back then. I look like a box and such short fat ties. Ugh. Fashion really has gotten much better over the decades. I don't even recognize myself in this one. I think that was the first time I had seen a camera. This is how I picture you. That exact dress. The traditional costume. Surrounded by empty fields, tall grass, barren trees, frowning slightly. The look you get when I make a particularly bad joke. Your eyes, deep and discerning, but still seeing the best in me. Yeah. So much has changed. Has it? Well, look at you now. You're worldly, grown up, intelligent. I'm so proud of you. Hi, hi. Chi miigwech. Or whatever. Your language is beautiful. How, how come you don't speak it more? I don't remember it much these days, other than the phrases that everyone uses in emails and stuff. I could find you lessons. A teacher or elder or something. Honestly, dear, you don't have no, to. No, it's important. Preserve the culture. I'd be honored to pay. <laughs> well, damn. I think this is the best anniversary I've done yet. What? No, thank you? Darling, communication is a two-way street. I was intelligent then. Sorry? When we met. I was who I am. I was intelligent. I taught you. <sighs> Intelligence... It's a nothing concept. Everything is intelligent. A rock in your shoe, leaves falling from a tree. Well, of course, I guess I mean uh, educated. You, knew, uh, you know the ways of the land. I'm making this because we have to remember. All of it. We're forgetting. Forgetting what? The pain, the mistakes, the triumphs, deceit, more pain. What I taught you, the ways of the land, as you put it. I haven't forgotten that. I, I replaced all our light bulbs with those energy-efficient ones. In ten years, we'll have solar panels on the house. I set up that little compost bin in the kitchen. All our coffee is fair trade. Too little, too late. Well, real progress is slow. We have to get it right. Look at these photos. In our entire life, we've never met in the middle. I concede, compromise, a little bit at a time. I forget what I compromise. You forget too. And now, here we are doing things your way every day. This is your world we live in. Yes, some of my art is on the walls. You give me beadwork for my birthday. There's a teepee in the backyard on special occasions. Tobacco laid down in the flower garden. Consolation prizes. What do I get? A, a place to belong to. A society to contribute I to. I do belong here. I've always been a member of a society, even before you came along. Okay, a new society. Well, not new, but tried and tested. A country that opens up all the possibilities of the world. The right to build the life you want. <sighs> Falsehoods. I, I don't see how. It's not belonging. Yes, it is. It's surviving. What are you I can't talking? build the life I want, as you say. I've tried. I keep trying. And you keep reining me in, telling me no. Sometimes I do find these small bits of beauty new to me, exciting. But then I remember. I remember the cost of those things. Then it all becomes so much harder, simply because of who I am. I don't, I don't understand. I don't fit in here. Where? Here? I built this place for you. You built it. And I can't change it, shape it. Oh, right, sorry. I get energy-efficient light bulbs. You're being ridiculous. I'm not. Look at these photos. I am, I am. What do you see? 
You. Me. Our, our wedding. What is a wedding? What the fuck do you mean? What is it? Marriage. I don't know. A, a ceremony. A contract. A contract. Yeah, that's what marriage is. Yes, but it's still a contract. Your kind of contract. Your definition of marriage. When we met, that wasn't a concept for me. Signatures, notaries, addendums, all that. I know, but I didn't mind. It's all right. I'm not I, apologizing. Well, then what are you doing? I'm trying to make a point. A marriage contract and a marriage ceremony. Those aren't the same. I knew it. I knew it. I've been waiting a long time for this. For what? Your demands. I knew you never forgave me. No matter how much I do for you, I made one mistake. I hurt you, I know. I didn't mean to. I thought I was doing something good. I was messed up myself. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? I am sorry. But it was long ago. We've grown together since then. It's not like it was a utopia here before I came along. So that justifies genocide? We are human beings, just like you. We are important, just like you. It's not about utopia. We fought, we messed up the way humans do. But it's about our priorities. They were... No. No! I've spent decades explaining this. You'll never understand. It's becoming clear to me now that I can't be what you need me to be. What was agreed on in this contract? What are you talking about? I've tried. I've tried to be... Everything you wanted. Everything you forced me to be. You have not tried. I have given you many chances. What to have you given me? This house and a yard to do with as you please. Education, health care, money for whatever you need. Do you think that's a relationship? Yes. What did you get from me? I've learned what it means to live here. No. What did you get from me? Give me a break. Can you let it go? We are in relationship now. Give and take. Ceremony and all that. And all that. You don't know what ceremony truly is. Yes, I do. Because of you. Us. A contract? Stand still. It's a period. The end of something. A marriage should be ceremony. A continuation. A bond forged that ebbs and flows with time. Changes with grace and humility. Integrity. I prefer my way. Your way. An immovable promise. A past life made. There's accountability. Clear set rules and regulations. Consequences. You wrote it. You wrote it to avoid accountability for yourself. You've never given me anything on the level that I gave you. You never gave me anything that meant something to you. That took effort beyond money spent and orders given. I know I messed up, but look where it got us. We've built a life here. Many people depend on us. There are many lives beyond our own that are entrenched in this world that we built. Every day, babies are born. Of all races, mixed races, health care, schools, roads, careers, festivals, amusement parks, movies, theaters, museums, symphonies. It worked out in the end. It's not the end. But we're working on it. Does it matter? We're here. We're together. We made a promise, and I'm atoning for the mistakes. Constantly. Memorials. Budgets for reconciliation. Holidays for remembrances. Yet you continue building, digging, squeezing the land. It's unrecognizable to me now. You try, I try, we all are trying, but 
What if you can't ever atone? The wrongs are too deeply entrenched. Yes. There is no way. It's too late. It goes too deep. Yes. Don't you feel it? When you close your eyes with your feet firmly planted on the earth, do you feel the vibrations? The rumbling of the machines drowning out the songs? But it's still there. The steady pulse faintly underneath. The earth calling to us and drums responding. Every day I hear it. Sometimes impossibly quiet. Others louder than my thoughts. It never stopped. Even as it weakened in your grasp. Even as I look out these windows, recognize the land less and less. The woman in the reflection changing, her eyes clowning as she loses a little bit of herself slowly. I keep expecting to see her, deep in my eyes, in my memories, but I see someone new. I've forgotten so much in becoming this. Someone I never wanted to become. I hunch my shoulders. I hide my grace. I'm a cog in some great machine that is destroying everything contained within it. The more in relationship we become, the man who stole an unstealable treasure from me, the more I fit into your world, the less of me I am. How many times have you broken our promises? deluded me, patronized me. Yet I've kept trying. Generations on generations. Watching myself destroyed from the inside out for the sake of your reconciliation. Perhaps you're right. This was always a contract, your kind of contract. But you've broken the terms. I thought there was respect, love. It was a deceit from the beginning. So I dissolve it. I withdraw. You have no idea what you're doing. The consequences of this, the tragedy of it, you, you must rethink this. What you want isn't possible. We are bonded together in too many ways. And you broke that bond. I terminate any contracts we are joined in. You have no dominion over me. I'm leaving you. Oh, can't you feel it? The pulse, the pulse growing stronger. How oh, I've missed its strength. Are you scared? Is your world suddenly unfamiliar? We're more similar than we've ever been now. You hear it now? The drums, the beating of her heart. Alive, all this time. Always. I never stopped loving her. I was never yours. I was always hers. Hers alone, never yours. You promised. We need you. You can't... You can't leave. Always Forgive hers. Me. Always. Forgive the us. The one true relationship since time immemorial. Hers. We Treaty People is a production of Burnt Thicket Theatre. Support our work with a donation and learn more about the artists at burntthicket.com. 
Special thanks go to the Canada Council for making this project possible. And to our season sponsors, Shercom Industries and SK Arts. This work was gratefully created on Treaty 6 territory and on the homeland of the Métis. Join us next time for a conversation with the artists about this episode of We Treaty People.